Let's do Amaguchi, because cool. that'll unlock the next set of destruction missions. Take down that barrier of progress. Man, I'm really off my game today. All these weird dreams must be getting to me. And that show that came on in the middle of the night. Wish that was just a dream. It's weird. I keep seeing Kisaragi in my dreams. Hmm. Except it's not exactly me. My name's Ida there. Just two people struggling to survive. Wonder if they're in love. Back in my dream, he called himself Tetsuya Ida. We look identical, but that's not my name, so... This dream's probably way what looked like it was in some kind of lab. Never figured she'd turn up, but that was her, Tomi Kisaragi. She's just everywhere, huh? Miyuki Inaba. She's a celebrity. A pop... Huh. Who'd be... Hey, so I've been talking to this pop... Ugh. Yeah, no. No easy way to drop that bomb. They'd have me committed. <laughs> Man, she a bombshell like that, sending those curry guys to the hospital. I've never met anyone like her before. I just might have fallen for her. My motorcycle. I woke up late this morning, so I came to school by bike. But I've got it parked off in the shopping district. That way, the school can't get on my case about it. Okay. Anybody to talk to? I just go into class. I see Karabik. I wanted to talk about my dream. My Ugh. Ouch. Ow. Oh, it's you. Got to make sure. Huh? Ah. Huh. Oh. What the hell Ow. are you doing, you pervert? Do you think you can do anything you want just because you're popular? Look, I mean, I had this dream last night. I just had to make sure you actually had a belly. I'm sorry. What? Now you're calling me fat? <laughs> Man, you that was the exact wrong choice of way to proceed. I saw her hanging there, or half of her at any rate. Okay. Maybe it really was just a messed up dream. I already know what Karabe Kun would say. I gotta lay off the splatter flicks. Such a skis ball. What's with this guy? Damn, alright. That was, um... That was a choice you made right there, bub. Yuki-chan's supposed to be in class one. No sign of her, though. Does she ever go to class? I don't think so. might be waiting for me. Sure, let's go check. Oh. Well, Fuyusaka. Hey, Fuyusaka. You the only one here? Hi, Amiguchi kun. Karabe kun's not here, huh? <laughs> I had this dream. It's bugging me. I kind of wanted to talk about it. How about you, Amiguchi-kun? Yeah, my dreams have been crazy lately, too. Do you see robots, too? No. Well, okay, sure, yeah, they're kind of like robots. What kind of robots? Oh, you know, just... They were more like just... androids. Oh, okay, he's seeing the androids. You couldn't tell them apart from human beings. And I'm there in some kind of lab with all these androids? I know that place. I was there too. In my dream. The sixth biggest underground laboratory in Shikishima or something. That place is... underground? And I saw Usami-chan there too. Tomi Kisaragi. Yeah, me too. It's gotta be the same place. Alright, we're connecting some dots. Okay. So, let's see the stream of yours, bruv. And that should work okay. That's Memo not data. disturbing at all. Thank you, Tanao-san. 
I really don't know what I'd do without you. Don't worry, Ida-kun. You succeeded with me. I'm sure you'll do fine with her. I'm oh. sorry I had to prioritize her. Don't worry. We'll get you a body too. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. So, Tamau was digitized and turned into an AI of some sort. Miura that had that happen to him as well. And a, presumably Kisaragi as well. And then Izumi came in and probably murdered Kisaragi, or at least deleted her, and then took over the body. And Tamau came to beat the shit out of her when Izumi went to attack Nachan. At which point, Izumi swapped and put Tamau in the broken body, who Please. may or may not be alive, Come probably isn't alive me. at all. Tomi, do you recognize me? Uh, Ida-kun? <sighs> Wait, are you his older brother? <sighs> Did he even have a brother? It is you. He looks so... grown up. This feels like it's going to be traumatic. I'm sorry it took so long. It took eight years, even with the technology underground. Hmm? I, I can't move. She's having trouble understanding her situation. I will inhibit her emotions to avoid a panic attack. Yeah, to avoid a panic attack. Jesus. Huh? What's happening? Please listen. Try to stay calm. I analyzed your data from the records in Sector Zero. I found data for your old memories, your mind. And now I've transferred them into an android body. You mean I'm... I'm not... human? Am... I... Tamao-san, please turn up the sensitivity on those inhibitors. Kisaragi-san, you're like me now, an AI. Based on memory data, you are constructed to think and act just like her. Uh, yeah, that's not creepy at all. You're still you. Uh, let me try to calm her directly. Could you connect us? Do what you can. Please. Um. What am I doing? We've got a problem with the Sentinels, Ida Kun. The Sentinels we thought were complete aren't responding. The Sentinels are working off of the same code base as the D-Series, so it has to be the D-Code control holding them back. If we want to disrupt that function, well, uh -oh. we need someone compatible to maintain direct access. Something this off? is the discovery that the, uh, the automated, um, no, Sentinels are a bad idea. Tommy? Tommy? What happened to the real me? Well... Please, be honest. Juro killed you. You and the other kids. And I put him down. Yikes. That's a big yikes from me, dog. Damn it. A dream again. So that would be Izumi the Mass Murderer from Sector Man, what 1. Time is it? No way I'm getting back to sleep after that. Or Sector 5, one of those two, the farthest in the future. Um, you in there? Not coming out today? That also implies to me that because Tetsuya Ida is the name of Four Eyes, right? So I wonder if those are the same, the same version. So in that dream, my name's Tetsuya Ida. It looks like it takes place in the future. 
And Fuyusaka's apparently been seeing stuff in the same place. Huh. I've been seeing things through Tetsuya Ida's eyes, but Fuyusaka... Actually, now that I think about it, the Ms. Morimura in my dreams looks pretty familiar. <laughs> she kind of reminds me of Fuyusaka. Hello? Nothing to see here, just a guy talking to his TV. Okay, maybe I'm just going nuts. Yep, you're, don't worry. No, you're not. I'm glad you talked to me. There you are. What is going on? From the sounds of things, this might still take a while. Hello? Are you the real Miyuki Inaba? Or something else just wearing her face? There's only one Miyuki Inaba in the world. But whether this face is just a mask, it's hard to say. Sometimes a mask is all an idol has. Sometimes it's all they are. I know this is a normal TV set. It doesn't even do video phone stuff. <laughs> Pretty sure I shouldn't be able to talk to someone through it. You yourself are the transmitter. The TV is just the receiver. This is the only way I can communicate with you. I was blocked by universal control. The system denied me access. Uh-oh. So I had to sneak in on this broadcast. Kind of over my head, but I guess the point is... You hijacked the airwaves, and that's how we're talking. You could say that. That seems like a gross simplification. Why me, though? You're the only one I can find. More accurately, your ID is the only one I could locate. But even beyond that, I know I can depend on you. Okay, back up. You said something would take a while. What were you talking about? It will take a while to help you understand. Understand what? Our situation. <laughs> I'm being tracked. I'm cutting the connection for now. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Be safe, little idol girl. Cool. Man, I'm really off my game today. All these weird dreams and that show that came on in the middle. Wish that was just a dream. Why? You have a lovely little idol that's talking to you and is only wants to talk to you and only can talk to you. You have a lovely new friend. This dream's probably looked like it was never figured. All right, that's the same. In my dream, her soul was in. That's got to be the craziest feeling. What would it even be like not having a body of your own? Back in my dream, he called himself. We look identical. Yeah, like I said, that's probably a fairly traumatic experience, all things considered. Yuki Inaba has been also. She can talk to me through the TV. She knows me, so not just that. She says I'm the only one she can depend on. I'm still waiting for the punchline here. <laughs> hmm? Yuki Chan. I see you. Maybe Yuki Chan's. Is this where we flirted with her in the cafeteria and asked her out? It is. It must be. Yuki Chan, Amiguchi. I was just thinking about you, and now here you are. Destiny sure wants us to be together. What are you talking about? So, Yuki-chan. Didn't I tell you not to call me that? You like Hey C? I heard vitamin C helps keep you healthy. I'm not drinking it for my health, dumbass. Not Chan used to drink it, that's all. Gotta lay off the smokes anyway. So, Interesting. something else to focus on. The dialogue is ever so slightly different. You know, I came by bike today. Got it hidden away nearby. I wonder if that's just due to his memory being different from hers, or if this is actually a different set of events than I previously observed. How about the beach? I know a place with a great view. I said no. Can't take a hint, guy. What? You don't have any place you want to go? A place from back in the day, somewhere with good memories? Got a place.
place on your mind? Or is there a reason you can't go back? Of course not. I just got to thinking. Reminded me of my grandma on my mom's side. Haven't seen her since my parents divorced. Uh oh. Insane. <laughs> you set me up. Well, let's go. What? Let's go see your grandma. What are you, nuts? She's not even in the city. Her place is in Hamanashi, a whole prefecture over. Uh, That's what I thought, dumbass. It's too far. That's not that far, no, right? Let's do this. I want to go too. That's just about a hundred kilometers one way. Hundred kilometers. Come on. Is hey! about sixty miles, right? This is the perfect chance to check something. No, uh, it's, it's five After over three. Heard from the TV last night. I've got to find out. Or rather three fifths. Yeah, so sixty miles. Let me tell you where you are. What do you mean? This is my house. That's not what I meant. Think bigger. I'm talking about everything you know. Hmm? Everything in this city. Everything you've lived. It's an isolated enclosure. Just thirty kilometers in diameter. An enclosure? Hmm. But we still get news from all over the world. It, you can simulate that, my guy. Off. No, that's too much. I don't buy it. That's a reasonable reaction. So, I think you should go take a look yourself. I'm going to unlock a part of the Suwabuki Bypass. You should now be able to see the truth. Uh, go to the edge of the world. To the outer walls of the city itself. Whoa! Ominous. What the hell? Right, and a great excuse to to go, hey, let's go visit your grandma. Yeah, a prefecture over. Huh? You say something? You ever think anything through on the Gucci? Hey, I can get us back within two hours. Home before sundown, easy. Don't worry about it. How about you tell me a little bit about your grandma? She's out in the boondocks. Nothing but rice patties. Yeah? You used to go to her place every summer. Walking between the fields in the mornings to do radio gymnastics. The opening of this uh, piano line, no it started like Zelda's lullaby and then took a turn. In the afternoons, Grandma would give us some <laughs> watermelon. We'd swim in the river and catch fish with our bare hands. Right there, that was it. And then it and then it does a uh, a, a chord, a different chord progression. What? My grandpa had a Zelkova on the hill behind his house too. Go catch cicadas off it. Oh, yeah? And the river, the watermelon. It sounds exactly like what I remember. Uh-oh. We've got copy-pasted memories. Remember the same stuff from vacations in the country? No, but that's exactly what is weird here. Well, we're almost 15 kilometers from the middle of the city. This tunnel should end around the prefecture line, so... Damn. What the hell is this place? What's going on? This is what she was talking about. This sure doesn't look like a construction site. Mm, I'd say not, yeah. It just goes on forever, above and below. I can't even see the end. Yo, where the hell are we? Asking as if he'd know. The outer walls. But what the hell is it? How do we get through? I don't know if there is a way through. What if all our memories from outside town are fake? What if everyone's been convinced that an outside even exists? No way. I can't believe it either. How could I? It'd mean this 30 kilometer enclosure, this isolated city is the only world we've ever known. Yeah. One might call that revelation world shattering.
And then that that was the one that unlocks the the dis the destruction missions. Okay. Let's see how yeah. far we can go with it. Man, I'm really off all these weird All right. One more line there. And that show that came on in the wish Miyuki Inaba was right about that. There was a boundary. So here hmm. we are. And beyond that, wish I could pretend it was a my own private little adventure with Yuki-chan. I see Tomiki Saragi in there. Ah, come on. What am I getting self-conscious for? It was just a dream. It's got nothing to do with anything I actually feel. <laughs> if I bump into her, things could get awkward fast. Only if you make them awkward. <sighs> what I really need now is a cold drink. Just gotta grab a drink, sit down, and chill out. I just wanted a nice so much for that. And now <laughs> I've got myself wrapped up in some huge conspiracy. <sighs> Used to be I'd just daydream about girls for a while and perk right up. Something tells me that's not really gonna work here. Yeah, probably not, bruh. Can't go anywhere that way. I wonder if Yuki-chan's here. Aha! Yuki-chan! <laughs> Quit following me. Let's go to that tunnel again. We gotta get it on video. Send it to TV stations. Blow the lid off this store. If that was real, we gotta tell everyone. Slow down. I got bigger fish to fry right now. Bigger fish, yep. Hold on. What bigger fish? Because what we found was a huge fish, man. <laughs> it's a good question. I got detention. Detention? I kind of bombed the quiz. I mean, so bad that they're saying my test scores and my transfer paperwork don't make sense. Usually I just ditch, but I just got into the same school as Nachan. I don't want to get kicked out over this dumb crap. Damn. We're following rules today? Okay, bye. Could use a sugar boot. Yeah. To the break area. Hey. Sure. It's sold out. Bye. that okay let's think about this can't talk to Okino at all Miyuki and Abba what that was so he this dream's probably way okay the motorcycles a shiki -shi oh that flash kind of hurts my eyes every time I fast forward like that my, her soul that's got to be the craziest what would it even be see this going one way I tell someone and they dump me in a psych ward so what can I do I'm good ah. you <laughs> hey Karabe oh. haven't seen you in a while hey, Kurabe -kun. and Okino's Could gone again today? you got it let's see why don't we go to your place this time don't you have the place to yourself right now I want to check it out it's true, my grandma's away visiting relatives. <laughs> well, right now... Wasn't... Wasn't Karabe's that, that... What the fuck is his name? Can I... Oh, I can, I can check some shit while I'm here. What the fuck was his name? Where is he? Gonna be towards the top, huh? Now we're in characters. Shiba! Fucking Shiba was in this scene in Karabe's story that I played like a fucking week ago. Ain't here now. I have a guest staying over. 
Because I remember these lines. Things are a little awkward, so, uh, I'm pretty sure Shiva was sorry. present. It's just not a good time. Well, all right. Let's go to my place then. Thanks. So we just do we just leave? Let's head home. Sure. Excuse me. And we brought the soda in. Done already? <laughs> Sorry. Looks like all we've got is soda. Thanks, Sonny. It's getting dark. And we go to... Go yeah, we go get soon. dinner. And right, right. in Karabe's memory, Shiba is sitting there in the middle this whole time, time playing video games. I feel kind of bad. Because I remember walking in between the screen. You want to call it a day? I can still tag along. I'll just pay for my own food. Oh. You watched the video I lent you? Hey, you recommended it. How could I not? Did you already finish it? What did you think? Kind of a campy plot. You've got this mad scientist who loses his real body, so he builds a new body and sets out, bent on revenge. It was interesting, but definitely not for casuals. <laughs> for a B-movie? That just proves it's a masterpiece. Are we gonna go to go to ramen, bud? Oh, oh, look who's on the TV. What's up? Just learning something about you. I figured you were only really into Western music. Never thought you'd be into the idol scene. Miyuki Inaba. She's been really getting big lately, hasn't she? Uh, oh, that. I mean, you know how it is. I just got curious. Yeah, is that how it is? I'm like vaguely just trying to remember what we did in Juro's version of the story. Seriously though, what where's where's my next prompt? Maybe I could tell Karabe he's one of the only people who but don't want to get this wrong. I know if I don't make myself absolutely clear, I'll just come off as a crazy fanboy. Just, Actually, just a little bit. She was right. We f maybe I should listen. I'm getting hungry. Did you want to just grab dinner and go home? Actually, uh do you think I could stay a little longer? Oh. I'd really appreciate it. My old man's probably at his mistress's place again. And I'm all by myself you, here. Stay I don't think any of these kids have parents, though. Thanks. <laughs> so, uh, any specific reason you don't want to go home? <sighs> well, anyhow, you want to get food? We could swing by the video store. Pick up something new to watch? Oh, speaking of... Before I forget again, here you go. This one I brought with me. It's basically the sequel to that other sci-fi one. This story was meant for you. Oh, yeah? Uh-oh. Yeah. For you... and me. That's not ominous at all. Memory transfer complete. Now, open your eyes, Juro. Or maybe the name 426 would be more appropriate. Juro Izumi is 426? Do you recognize me? You're Tetsuya Ida. Or at least an older version of him. I see I was gone a long time. You always 
seem to notice that whenever I wake you up, it's been three years since you died. Next year, we enter the 22nd century. How do I look now? Oh, this is horrific. No arms or legs. Not even a face. You'll find the pain receptors are all still there, at least. So I'd really recommend you cooperate. You know, you okay? You are now an android. Your consciousness is stored on an electronic brain. So you pulled my data from Sector Zero. Brought me back as a ghost. I brought you back because we need to talk. You clearly did the most work on that underground supercomputer. So we're gonna have a little chat about your research. Let's talk about your final project. You were testing an unorthodox function for the interlocitor. Downloading memories into a human brain. I'm picking up where you left off, so I'll need more details. Records say the memory transplant was a success. But all the raw data from the experiment was deleted. Why did you delete it? Did you uh -oh. get some snag with the method? Okay, maybe you're still a little groggy. Let's wake you up. Inflict pain. This is kind of fucky. Jesus. Handling the Dimos code is dangerous, you know. How far back did you look? I really need to keep an eye on you. So that's your process. Copy me into this husk of tin. Then erase me once you have what you need. You're a dangerous man. Better get rid of you early this time. Oh shit. out from Mori Morrison. You're trying to transplant my mind, aren't you? You want to replace the Tomi Kisaragi of this world with me. Do you realize how horrifying that is? How could you? Wait, look. It'll mean you can be human again. It means you're going to sacrifice a living human girl. But she's you. It'll be your heart and mind going into your own body. What's wrong with that? A lot of things, my guy. <laughs> She's dead. The girl you're talking to, she's just a machine wearing Tomi Kisaragi's face. But your heart is real. You're still you. Don't you get it yet? The girl you knew will never come back. Even if... Even if you steal her body and transfer my mind. Please. Please, I... Without you, I'm... You know I love you. But... I can't support you. Oh. I can't support this. Uh, that explains why you woke me up. It sounds like things aren't going according to plan. This is uh, pretty heart wrenching. Uh, well, I can tell you your biggest failure right now. Just standing right there. You should never have revived her as an android in the first place. All you had to do was transfer her mind into a flesh body. He could have gotten everything he wants. Nobody the wiser. Shut up! Juro Izumi. You're Juro Izumi. Prisoner 426, aren't you? Why did you wake him up? Same reason he brought you back. We're both his means to an end. Tools to be used and thrown away. Fuck. Why him? Just had some technical things I wanted to check. Don't worry. I'll erase him as soon as I'm done. How about now? A couple more questions, but we'll get to them another time. 
I noticed you kept Kisaragi's memory from before transplanting her into the android. Huh? Paranoia getting you. You didn't even keep so many backups. Strange move for a man who sees humans as replaceable hardware. Or maybe you had the same contingency plan for her. You could erase her and start over as much as you wanted. This is pretty fucky. I've heard enough. No need to get emotional. After all, me and your Kisaragi here, we're just data. All you have to do is reset us, and we spring to life, just like you did to me. Where- can you get on the resetting? I'm him now. Just keep your eyes on the console for me. Do it. You know he was just trying to mess with our heads. Are you mad at me? You know he was. Are you mad at? Okay. Data transmission had been remapped to the delete button. Guess he was too worked up to notice. Never thought I'd find an escape route planned out for me, and by one of my past selves, no less. So, how are you doing? What happened? Hey, Kisaragi. How's the view from the other side of that shell? A shame it might end up getting you deleted. And by the man you love, too. Oh, very classical tragedy. Easy, son. Sorry, but I need this body more than you do. And that's how the original problem happened. God, that's creepy as fuck. Oh my goodness, that's creepy as hell. Oh, I must have fallen asleep watching a video. Looks like Karabe-kun went home. And the tape must have hit the end. It's automatically rewound. Uh, the dream just now feels like it started off the end of the last one. I mean, yeah. You saw the video. Hey, man, I'm not even surprised anymore. Yeah, I saw it, but what are you talking about? What you saw wasn't a video. Everything you saw was real. All events of the distant past. Okay, hold on. Cool, so the I tapes hold memories, which Jiro has so been downloading me. for a while as a movie buff. What's part in it? Does he want me to see this stuff too? He's... he's the same as you. Watching the past unfold, even if he has no idea. He doesn't know that it's why he keeps coming over, or even that he's communicating with me. Wait, you talked to him? When? We were just hanging out, playing games, watching movies. That's how it appears to you, yes. I keep seeing that guy in my dreams. It's his past you're seeing. He resembles you greatly. His name is Tetsuya Ida. Mm. Okay, so now you've shown me all this crazy vision stuff. Now what? I have to find out what he's thinking. What he intends to do. If he's thinking of resetting the plan, then he has to be stopped. There's a plan? Okay, so Sure would like to plan? know the plan, yeah. Come on, what have you got cooking? This isn't going to be some big evil scheme, right? It's not. It's called... Project Ark. The plan is meant to save humanity. As a species, you will all be moved to another planet. And whether you know it or not, this plan revolves around all of you. 
Should have like two or three more of Shu of Amaguchi. So me and Karabe kun probably Fuyusaka too. The dreams we're seeing are actual events from the past. And it turns out this place is actually isolated. We're putting the pieces so together. You know all this? Oh, you know, just the pop star Miyuki and Aba talking through my TV. Who the heck do I even talk to about this? I don't know, probably the other guys that are having dreams. Yuki-chan? No. Well, she is occupied. Detention is a cruel mistress. This is finally technically a different path set. Tomiki Saragi isn't here. Well, probably for the best, actually. Bumping into her now would be super awkward. Hey, Karabe! Amikuchi kun. Hey, you going home? Perfect timing. See, um, about that video. Sorry, I'm kind of in a hurry. Oh, uh, it's cool. Huh? Oh, we'll see ya. Karabe kun. Seems like something's up with him. Maybe he's figured something out too? Hmm. Shall we follow? He's not even in my thought cloud. Maybe I need the roof. All right. Who's going to be on the roof? Maybe I should just go public. Lay everything out in the open. I guess I could record Miyuki and Aba talking to me. Send that tape out to TV stations. I don't know if that'd go very well, bruh. Yep. All right, Ogata. Almost got you so spaced out. Uh, Miyuki, just got shit on my mind. <laughs> what about you? You look like hell. Something weighing you down? Yeah. You could say that. Hey, uh... Remember when I skipped school for a few days? What about it? Mm hmm? Yeah, uh, I actually spent those days stranded in another time. Stuck in the future. Huh. Well, me, I'd go with a more plausible excuse for ditching. Yeah, that's about what I figured. So, what's going on with you? Huh? Oh, you know that pop star, Miyuki Inaba? She's been showing up in my room every night. I don't know what to do. Well, if you're gonna make me feel stupid for asking. <laughs> yeah, that's about what I figured. You're both telling the truth, and you're both uh, thinking the other oh, is lying. I totally forgot. What's up? Yakushiji-san from Class 1C. She said she wanted to talk to me today. Said she'd find me up here. <sighs> this shit again? Sheesh. Sometimes you're real annoying to be friends with. I'll just get out of your way then. <laughs> Again? Oh, just stuff from middle school. Girls used to confess their love to me in front of him all the time. Oh, oh wow. Is that what this is about? I'm sorry. I I've got feelings for someone else. That's not what I came here to tell you. God. Oh, sorry. Awkward. So what do you need? Yeah, talk about jumping to conclusions, bro. To apologize. This might hurt a little anyway. Yep, and she's on her witch hunt. Sentinel number 20. Transmitting. What's going on? Congratulations, you now have your own personal giant flying robot. <laughs> Launch point looks to be Yai Machi. Close to Sakura High School. 
There's no mistaking it. It's a sentinel. I mean, yes. Notify all ministries and agencies, and the U.S. military. Tell them no scrambles. Showa era weapons won't do much against a sentinel. We don't know who's on it or what their intent is. And call in Ryoko Shinonome. Still ascending. What's it trying to do? Ah, uh, you know, just your average everyday panic. A sentinel. I believe that's the last aerial lightweight craft designed by Okino. I thought it never even entered production. Who is that? Why is it green? Space? No way! I knew I was going up, but I can't have gone that high. Altitude reading says 2,078 meters. That's not that high at all. You've bypassed the upper shield. You are now outside the enclosure. Nice. I'm outside the wall now, so outside that, it's just space? What does all this mean? I saw a lot of these huge robots in my dreams, but... None of them could fly. That is Sentinel number 20. And you are its operator. Does Yakushiji work for you? The Sentinel was never meant to be transmitted. They found us. Who's they? Intruders from another district. They left their origin point and came to your world. Uh huh. District. The Men in Black. Okay, bye. Uh, what the? Amiguchi? Oh, hey, it's Yuki-chan. I knew it. It's like I keep saying, we gotta be soulmates. <laughs> Even now, trying to be smooth. Kind of hoped I'd see you one more time before I died. You're seriously still talking this crap, even now? Is that thing yours? Sentinel number 20, transmitting. It's gone. I'm just glad I didn't crash somewhere with people. You gotta tell me what happened. We'll take over from here. Of all possible pilots, I'd never have expected you. Shu Amiguchi. Four eyes. What's up, bro? Agents with the government. Allow me to be direct. Cooperate with us, and I can guarantee your safety. If not, you will be institutionalized. You know something? I really, really hate being talked down to, especially from guys like you. Easy, Amiguchi. Yuki-chan, you know this guy? <sighs> she is a member of our organization. What? You were part of her assignment. She was sent to monitor pilots like you. <laughs> That's why she was transferred to Sakura High School. No way. Tell me he's kidding. Amiguchi, I... Oh. I suggest you cooperate, Shu Amiguchi. For Takamiya's sake, if nothing else. A big fat to be continued. Have to, do, have to beat wave 10 of... So, beat the entire second area. Oh yeah, no, no, Four Eyes sucks. He's, he sucks. He's like half the goddamn problem across the damn story, it feels like. Let's see, it's almost 4 a.m. We do, do we do the last section of destruction? Or do we play some more story and just focus on that? Swipe so destruction missions will probably take me like an hour and a half. Somewhere in that range. Especially if any of them end up being difficult. We have... Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
10, 11, 12. Yeah, okay, so we have all 13 here. Who would we go to next? Maybe I haven't started Kisaragi's yet at all. And Hijiyama, there's a gate for Mura, right? I think those are the two options I'd be interested in. Especially given how much Kisaragi's story is involved with Amaguchi's. Although I guess it's not this Kisaragi, it's a different Kisaragi. It's all so interesting. All Let's right. do some of Hijiyama. And then in like 20 minutes I'll switch over to the destruction missions. Assuming I'm not completely drawn in. Although I guess that's a big assumption at this point. This is it, all right. No, it's a far cry from the school I remember. We're gonna sneak in. Now, I don't know if he's here or not. Still, I should go around the back. Keep a low profile. What is Hijiyama doing right now? Because I only got to play the very beginning of a story previously. This building had just been finished when I knew it. Now, well, it's certainly seen better days. Yeah, sure, let's reminisce. It feels like just yesterday. I walked these very halls to pick up Keitaro. And now, four decades have passed in a blink of an eye. Like a fairy tale. Suppose he's still completely reeling from this whole thing, huh? And this young lady would be? Oh, that's Kiriko-chan. Right, and we saw this in Mira's story. I'm Kiriko Doji. Why, well, miss, you're... You're stunning. <laughs> my name is Takatoshi Hijiyama. I'm going to remember this day forever. Because it was the day you came into my life. None of these sentences Mira were in Miura's memory, which is but very you funny. Pretty incredible yourself, Takatoshi san. Uh, no, I don't know about that. So, what's got you all bashful and smiley in here? Kiriko san, I mean, Okino. You really are a funny guy. Um, <laughs> You could have just taken a nap at my place. I didn't think you'd come running after me. You underestimate this man. Away from me. I showed you my hideout. Why bother trying to run? I now? showed you my hideout. Please respond. Still don't trust me, huh? I want to know everything about what you're trying to accomplish. I see. Well, fair enough. The question is, are you even going to believe me? I have already learned for myself that time travel is real. At this point, nothing surprises me anymore. No more secrets. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to stop the apocalypse. A force is already on its way here to destroy the world. And they've got more numbers on their side than I feel like apocalypse have. is the wrong word, but, uh, you know, go they? off. I'm not really concerned with what they are. What I want to know is, why are they coming? The answer is in something called the decode. Which means we need to go kidnap poor Ogata and send him into a memory loop, right? Modifications like you and Murakun, and they're beaming out these signals calling the destroyers here, even though they have no idea. The Southern threat you said the Sentinels were meant to fight. Are you saying it's them? These destroyers? They're a huge threat, all right. And these people with modifications, like me, they're calling them here? But weren't those implants only added so we could pilot the Sentinels in the first place? Well, I made the Sentinels, sure. But uh -oh. I'm not the one who modified all of you. 
there's too many unknowns with the inner Lossiter. That's what I'm looking into. I love that when the, specifically the 1945 guys, they hear words and they go, I don't know what this word is. Let me sound it out. And their thought clouds are written phonetically. That is such a funny little detail. So this inner Lossiter? It's like a little network of tiny machines. It has to be implanted into your body. So what do you want me to do now? Everybody's supposed to be in class right now. You'll stick out if you're on school grounds. We can't have you wandering around where staff can see you. It'd definitely be a liability for me, at least. What began you? There'll be more of a crowd when lunch period rolls around. Until then, you should hang out here. Sleeping face down on a school desk can't be good for my neck. Why didn't you sleep flat on the ground then? Mm, okay now. Wouldn't that be more Still comfortable than sleeping from. bent? My guy. Noodles, stir fried and sauce. I don't trust them up, but if there's one exception. Alright, we gotta go to get ourselves some yakisoba pond, huh? Do I go outside? No, wait. Okino's instructions were very clear. Okay. He told me to. I can only waste time napping for. You just run back and forth, get some exercise. So the Sentinels. It's strange to say, but after all, even one of its. Maybe everyone. I'm trying to avoid being, so I'm not supposed. <sighs> Do I? Does this? Tr okay. Come on! You can't just let Okino tell you what to do. I mean, you might be able to. That anymore. might be a, not a bad idea. But yakisoba pun calls, huh? You gotta go get some yakisoba. Is this them having a conversation about the dreams being real? So basically, uh, huh? You just walk on by. A student's duty should be to focus so this kind of hanky panky has no place. But then that means the dream is not that really? that girl wasn't cute, I suppose, but <laughs> clearly she has no eye for men. So <laughs> what are you doing commenting on this, my guy? All right, right, we're broke. It's not like that. It super is, though. You think so? Mm hmm. Even Iori knows. Hmm. By the way, you know Ninji Kun? He got a letter asking to see him after school. What, for a sunset showdown? It's so old school. No, no. He says funny no, things when he doesn't. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he clearly needs them. Look, he's been deprived, and the future has exactly one thing that is important to him. Maybe two things that are important to him. Did you see him? Okino and, and Yakisoba so cool. Was he? Does he even go to our school, though? <sighs> oh, please. Miwako is perfect. That has to be. Can't let myself get spotted now. Okino would probably never let me hear the end of it. Yeah, probably not, bro. Is there something I'm missing? So he was. I don't know what he's up, but if I help. But I can't go that way at all. I should look some. Did I miss something over here?
Both of these lead to the same thing. Maybe back to the walkway? Did I miss something at the walkway? You the one? Said you'd be waiting here around now. Even stuffed a letter in my shoe locker, right? Yes. Shit, she's cute. <laughs> okay, so, uh... Um... I like you. Uh, seriously? You? Me? Yes. Kisaragi's bullshit was starting to get to me. Maybe I'm kind of a stud after all. <laughs> what? How could you possibly oh. say something about that, li or like that about Kisaragi? That rat bastard. He don't go for another fella's girl. Oh my goodness. Hijiyama, you gonna start a fucking problem? Is Nenji just gonna get the shit beat out of him for no fucking reason? Problem. Hey, put him up. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, did I just? I can't believe you, Hijiyama Kun. Look, he's defending your honor. Just... Uh, Don't mean... worry about it. Don't tell me. You were jealous. I... Look, I might no, be too. <laughs> Sorry for hitting him. You can like whoever you like. It's none of my business. I mean, yes. Where's this coming from? <laughs> you think I like him just because he's a guy? Uh -huh. Actually, you couldn't have picked a better time. This works. Ninji Ogata secured, despite complications. Now, help me get him into the old school building. Yes. Dude, Ogata just terrible run of luck. False pretenses or not, that confession really got to him. Even knocked out, he's still blushing. There might just be a him. bruise on his face from where you punched him. So that confession why else would I do it? So he's implanted with the same technology as me? He's going to destroy the world? He's sending signals to the things that will. At least I thought he was. Something's off. Nenji Ogata here is not transmitting any kind of command signal. Looks like the decode signature has been changed. That's bad. Now I'm gonna have to check everyone's individual codes. More work I don't need. Oh, but work is fun, right? Don't we have the Sentinels? You said you created them to save us all. That's right. But we've already thrown 19 Sentinels at them and lost. Ugh. We need a bigger game changer than one or two Sentinels. Mm, yeah. That alone's not going to make a difference. You did your homework on the Pacific War. You get it, right? When you're up against numbers like these, what can you do? <sighs> the Sentinels are meant to be a last line of defense. Okay. Nothing to consider. There. But I can't access it from this side. He might be the only one who can. So, where does that leave us? We're going to torture a man. As many times as it takes. Morning, Hijiyama-kun. Hello? Okino, okay, what's going on? I looked at Nenji Ogata. He didn't have anything for me. But I took a look at your coat, and I have to say it's been very thought-provoking. Thought-provoking? Or I swear, I'll... Are you sure you don't want to be tied up, bruh? Why are you getting so worked up now? This isn't all that different from the old days in the factory lab. Just the two of us, enjoying some quality time, right? <laughs> what? Even if that's partially true, things are different now. Untie me before I really get angry. 
Well, that's weird. You sound like you're mad, but these numbers don't lie. You're actually kind of enjoying this. Yeah, no, he wants to be tied up. There we go. Being all tied up at the mercy of your crush. You're such a perv, Hijiyama-kun. Stop toying with me! Well, why don't we see what's really in your Look, heart? Look, don't try and hide or lie to anyone with you hooked up to instruments, oh, all right? Oh, you really can't stop thinking about me, huh? Don't be ridiculous. I get it. You're lying to yourself. All to protect your self-image, right? But you can hide all you want. Your physical data gives it away. Don't lie to me! Fine. Why don't we take a deeper look? God. Stop. Okino is being cruel. Wow. This really says Stop it all. Stop it! Stop, please! Oh, the poor guy. Completely laid bare before the, the person that he loves. Against his will, even. Sure. The bad time. The bad time. <sighs> Feels like I've woken up from a terrible dream. Probably true. And no one has like he's good dreams again. around here. When does he even sleep? I've judged the walking distance right. I should arrive there around noon. I need to save up. Even a small reserve would be enough. <laughs> you need to save up what? It's not like you're working a job, my guy. I see. Okino is right. I just need to slip in the old staff entrance. Seems like nobody will spot me. Now, where is Okino? Mm, around. I have to go over the whole school for him. There we go. Okay now. There you go. What's going on? Why do I feel like this? <laughs> I see you made a friend. Eh, just a stray cat, that's all. I just gave it a little food. No, it just shows feeding up here the demon cat. Time, so ended up bringing food for it every day I suppose I can relate you used food to toy with both of us <laughs> man he's got a chip on his shoulder you don't like me taking care of you no please take care of me I'm okay with it do that. I'd better get going going where oh right Are you sticking around until Shintaro's done eating Shintaro mind tossing the empty can for me Shintaro that's his name, yeah. I'm counting on you. Little buddy. Little buddy. Oh, the big stretch. What a what a convenient way to lose him. Looks like a hundred fifty yen. Okino, are you still trying to look after me? Look, it's, it's fine. Can we do anything here today? Isn't she... My Yaki Soba upon Angel? <laughs> Okino is so He's good. Here, then. I I can't express how much I like Okino. I like I like school. Okino perhaps a this normal amount. <laughs> I'm not sure if I like Okino. No, no. I'll I'll say I like I like Takamiya for different reasons, but I like Okino a lot.
We can go to the cafeteria today. And besides, it's nice to be taken care of every once in a while when you, you know, spend so much time taking care of others. There it is. She's almost missed out. We only had two left. Just one left. Okay, um... How much does it... I have 150. I got it! Oh, no doubt about this is the same Yaki Silva Pond from back then. Proceeds to immediately just like have. Well. Just the most orgasmic oh, thoughts eating a Yaki Silva Pond. So hungry. I've got no strength left. I can't go on like this. I'll starve to death. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Maybe on the main street, I could find some scraps in the garbage. <laughs> what am I thinking? I am an imperial soldier. The pride of the empire. I can't dig through trash like some animal. I don't know, man. If it's that They're or death. Dead. I'm oh. sure make that choice. Still, I'll never find a paying job in this state. I shouldn't have let the heat get to me. Taking that bath in the river was my biggest mistake. That cold left me out of commission for a while. And now it's been three days since my food ran out. You haven't eaten for three days? I couldn't even find Kiriko-san in the end. Is this how I die? Alone? Wasting away? See, Yakushiji also just likes to take care of people. Um, Except that people okay? means Karabe. <laughs> oh. And apparently occasionally a starving soldier. Was that your stomach? Uh. <laughs> I know. Hmm. What's this? I bought too much of this at lunch. It's Yakisoba pun. Yakisoba pun? I can have this? If you'd like. I... I suppose I'll take you up on that. Yaki Soba Pond. <laughs> the greatest thing I've ever tasted in my entire life. It possibly could. It's delicious. Yes, yes it did. It literally saved his life. And his first experience with modern food is deep fried yakisoba on de on fried bread. Like, I'd call that pretty euphoric. I wanted to savor the time practically like, now that I think about it. Yeah. I never even got to thank her. I I I, I don't I would like to try it. If if this is if this is what yakisoba pan is, I would like to eat it. I only ever see just yakisoba instant maruchan stuff in the store. I can eat in Not yakisoba pan. Still, Although I suppose I could probably I find a way to make it. It's good karma for my model behavior. But God. I was wondering where you'd run off to. Did you go buy that yourself? Okino. You change clothes? Wow, I can feel the disappointment from here. <laughs> Want me to get back into the skirt? I don't care. It's just that the skirt's kind of breezy. I don't have much on underneath it. Makes me feel pretty exposed, you know? I can't just walk around in the wind and traffic like that. Ah, uh, why not? Just think of what could happen. Stop that. You're clearly enjoying this, no matter what you say. And you don't have to be so lewd about it. But it's fun! If we're seen outside, the staff might chase us off the property. Once the afternoon classes are over, we'll head back. You stick around here until then. Can I, can I munch? Time to finally enjoy my... Uh, oh, dude, they are. They, they, they really are. Do you want half of this <laughs> soba pond? What? Oh, no, I'm fine. I'm not even hungry. Isn't that your favorite food anyway? You enjoy it. Well, if you're sure... 
You really are a nice guy, Hijiyama-kun. Okay, time to dig in. <clears throat> Look, man, he he just knows that he likes Okino. And Fantastic. and whoever Okino is, is he he likes this Okino. Taste that saved me. I have to thank the Yaki so I I can relate to that one. If I've had things like that again, before. I need to thank her personally. The confusion is, is he's just like, this person uh, kind of swaps presentation all the time. He goes, I, the, the, the panic, the panic, I understand that. It's, it's an understandable feeling. But it is adorable. The grief. I can't imagine some of the, the cultural change alone just from him being from 1945 anyway. Combine that with some of this this shock. Probably lose my shit. Trying, then? Of course. Is it possible he really doesn't know anything? There's still residual data in there from the switch. If I can figure out who's sending out the signal, then maybe I can stop it or even control it. Where are you going now? The convenience store near the station. You haven't eaten since noon, right? I'll go get us some snacks. Help change things up. <laughs> Any requests? Yakisoba pan. Simple. So much for changing things up. Haven't you tried anything else from this time? Don't make fun of me. I, I like plenty of foods. But I like this one more. I just haven't eaten any of them yet. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Can't argue with that logic. Look, sometimes you just want one thing, and that's okay. Noodles, stir fried and sauce. I don't trust much, but if there's one exception. Yeah. I I could go for a yakisoba pond. I've had nothing but pizza for like 36 hours. I could go for some yakisoba pond. So the sentinel it's strange after all. Where am I going? Huh? Who's there? A female student? What is she doing out so late? More importantly. Wait. <laughs> She's the girl. She's the Yaki Sopan <laughs> Angel. Excuse me. Oh, uh, completely wait. ignores him. Incredible. I'm afraid the second floor isn't. I'm sorry. Yakushiji and her goddamn magic gun. Why? Total story progression 80%. At, on eight protagonists. Okay. That's gonna be a minute, huh? Well, mm. yeah, clearly not. Someone hands you a fried noodle sandwich. Um, they're, they are not to be trusted. They're trying to destroy you through increased caloric intake and, and euphoria, and you must run away at maximum speed. Who Who else who's who else's path do we want to go down? I mean Yakushiji's been showing up in literally everyone's story. Because, you know, she's going around shooting people. That would that would be a fun story to to, to start exploring at this point. I can't I can't do his for a while though. Or maybe it's time to go finish the first the next five destruction missions. 